Good evening. As we go to air tonight, at least three homes have caught alight during a bushfire emergency in Bullsbrook. Now, Michael Genovese is in the fire zone. Michael, what can you tell us this evening? Well, Chrissy, I'm on Perry Road in Pinjar, just north of Bullsbrook, where this afternoon three houses caught on fire. About an hour ago, 20 or so fire crews came speeding past us with their sirens blaring. The helitax remain overhead dumping water. It's understood those house fires have now been extinguished as uh, firefighters desperately try to protect the houses in the surrounding areas. It has been a hectic day for hundreds of Perth firefighters. Here is how the day played out. A wall of flames twice the height of trees. Fanned by strong winds, the inferno ripped through Bullsbrook. At least three homes on Perry Road damaged by fire, two sheds destroyed. Tonight, many more properties remain under threat. Smoke billowed skywards, leaving a plume so large it could be seen across the city, as far away as Fremantle. On the ground, hundreds of firefighters battled against high winds while helitax dumped water from the sky as the fire raced northwest at 900 metres an hour. The hot, dry and windy conditions a nightmare for firefighters. The flames jumping Neves Road into Nangara Pine Plantation. The fire started at just after nine this morning on a property near the corner of Gully Road and Railway Parade. Residents ordered to leave or prepare to stay and defend. At this point in time, I think the decision is to stay briefly, but if it gets too much, uh, I'll just, I'll going to leave. There's just no doubt about it. Todd Adkins left his property as the fire closed in. You, you couldn't see, you couldn't breathe and try and drive out. We had to drive through fire and everything. Some of his family members stayed behind. I think my grandpa was actually stuck in the house. My dad went in there and we said we had, we, he said we had to go and he, we had, he had a car there waiting but um, he's, still, he's still got trapped there now but he's, apparently he's alright. In the midst of the chaos, a fire truck rolled and hit a tree along the Great Northern Highway. One firefighter was trapped. He was freed by firefighters from three trucks. Well, at the moment, the fire is moving at roughly two kilometres an hour in a westerly direction. And if conditions stay the same, it will have reached Yanchep within the next hour. Flames have jumped Perry Road here, where we're standing at the moment, making their way now towards Wanneroo Road through Nangara Pines. Every available fire crew in Perth, literally hundreds of firefighters have been battling this blaze today on the ground and in the air. Their biggest issue is an easterly breeze that you might be able to see on the camera at the moment. It's been blowing at about... 30 kilometres an hour all day. Now, speaking with the Weather Bureau, they're expecting that to continue tonight, to continue tonight, and if anything, to pick up speed to around about 60 kilometres an hour, making nightmare conditions for firefighters trying to control this blaze tonight and into tomorrow. Chrissy.